My name is Richard Harrington. I'm head of Earth Sciences at the Natural History Museum. We've actually used the Terra on a number of projects. Uh, one specifically was to look at uh, magmatic rocks in a layered intrusive complex in Finland, where we were trying to distinguish between different uh, silicate phases that were very difficult to examine uh, using normal hand lens. And having the Terra in the core shed enabled us to make rapid identifications of different dark mineral phases that were in the dual core, which was more problematic by other techniques. We've been using it for uh, since 2004, so uh, where we trialled it, but then I think we bought the instrument in 2008, my understanding is. And so we've been running it for maybe five years. Been very good. Reliability is excellent. We primarily use it as a screening tool but the, because we take this out to the field with us. So it goes with us to projects. We've taken it to Finland. We've had it in Serbia, uh, in Cyprus. And it's been used out in the field. In Cyprus, indeed, we took it in the back of a truck and used it right out in the field. Uh, but most of the time we use it in like the core shed um, to actually look at drill core or drill cuttings. And it enables us to screen material prior to bringing it back to our laboratories for more detailed work, uh, which we use on our, on our larger instruments here. But it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, for us, a, a field tool. People have asked me, and I've shown a number of people this instrument, and I would highly recommend it. It's a professional tool. No doubt the data we generate from it is as good as uh, much of the stuff in the laboratory. And, uh, Certainly it's done exactly what uh, we wanted it to do.